Today is a real Xenoblade Chronicles kind of day. But like I said, there's a lot of information that I did miss out. So I'm guessing that a lot of this stuff is going to be from the direct that recently happened, or maybe not even from that. But I do want to learn this information with you guys on camera because here's the thing, right? A lot of people criticize this channel for not having the news as fast as it used to. And true, I definitely am lacking in that regard, but I feel as if this could still be useful for people who haven't caught up to the series of Xenoblade like I have. And I know some of you guys may find, like, I mean, here's the thing, right? I usually am on top of information like that myself as well. And I usually learn these things a lot before I actually talk about them, but there's a lot of people out there who don't really keep up with the news as much. Actually, the majority of people don't really keep up with the news as much, but still have some relative interest in this stuff. This is why I do my coverage videos, because it helps me learn the information in the process and maybe helps keep those people who don't know up to date as well. I find it a little bit weird that a lot of people come to me as their news source, because I say that's not the point of why you should watch me. I'm not a news channel. I'm just some guy who gets excited over the news as if you would, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not a news source. I don't report this shit trying to be newsy. I just read the shit because I like it. <laughs> I mean, I suck at reporting news, but I mean, either way, guys, let's take a look at this article as well, too. It talks about this new trailer coming out. Link to this will be in the description. Shout out to Link DK. Let's see exactly what's going on here. So check out the new trailer for Xenoblade X showing off the mechs. So we're probably not gonna watch the whole thing, but it, probably just a little bit. Oh, this is a Game Explain video, too. Shout out to Game Explain. Link will be in the description. Let's go. Um, is this like a video where they talk about it? Okay, here we go. I've said this before, I don't really like watching the um, Japanese the Japanese um, footage because I really can't understand what they're saying, so it's tough for me to try to get excited with it, and I feel like it's kind of pointless, but... Okay. So, these are the dolls, right? They remind me of the cast from um, Fantasy Star Online. Well, not online, but you know, Fantasy Star in general. Yeah, they're basically cast. You can just tell that some of the motivations for things in Xenoblade definitely came from um, uh, Fantasy Star. Okay. Looks cool so far. You know, all these pretty much look very identical to me. I mean, it's kind of tough to tell where the difference is, but hey. You see, I don't understand what's being said here, so how am I supposed to get excited about it? Okay, here we go, exploration. Whoa, 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 So you can go into the field with these massive... This music, by the way. Sawano, man. Sawano. Yo, this is like Titanfall. Whoa, I didn't know you could go into the field with these robots like this. That's good to know. This is cool. What? What? Yo, this game's gonna be fire! This game's gonna be fire! Yo, so you're riding in it, and then if you see a monster you wanna fuck up, you can just jump out. Yo, this is so fucking cool. These things can fly too. I remember seeing at some point in a trailer before that these things could fly. Please tell me they can fly. This world looks so massive and beautiful, man. Guys, I just played the Final Fantasy XV demo, and I fell in love with that world. It was just so wide open and just available for so many things to do, and it was so immersive. The graphics in 15 and the large space, you would think that you would become tired of walking around and it would get tedious, but it doesn't because the world is alive. It's alive! And that's what I see in Xenoblade Chronicles X. A living, breathing world. Interactive on so many levels. With such beautiful, engaging, immersive visuals that the game just be- You forget the hours as you play this game. You just- you just play it. And you- you become lost in it, man. I love a game like this. I wish I had something like this right now. The last game that immersed me so deeply I can't even remember, man. I've never, it's been such a long time. With this whole YouTube thing and just, you know, getting a job and whatnot and just like, you know, like working and kind of like being like in the flow of the stuff I do. Sometimes you just forget to lose yourself in a game, you know? I, I love Smash Brothers, but it's not a game where you can lose yourself in it like this. And this game just looks like you can get lost within looking at the beautiful worlds, within looking at the environments, the animals, the fucking monsters, the fighting, all that. This is a new world right here. I'm so excited for this game right now. I am so, damn, she thick as fuck. <laughs> she thick as fuck. Damn, no, man, look at this place. 
I loved playing. Oh, wow, you can. Yo, we have so many ama amazing fucking JRPGs coming out this year. What the hell? Who's messaging me? Um. Oh, man. Wow, man. I'm just like amazed. I didn't know that you could ride in these things. So they're not exactly like the casts in Fantasy Star because the casts were human sized, so to speak. The casts weren't really human sized. They were kind of like, you know, a little bit taller than humans, a lot bulkier than humans, you know, around seven, eight foot. But these, the dolls apparently are, they can be equated to Evangelion. Um, they ain't like, like kind of like the Evangelion, how, you know, that's exactly what I see when I see these things. So there's a lot of inspiration. I shouldn't have said that it was just from Fantasy Star. There's a lot of inspiration from a lot of different sources for a game like this. This is just so amazing though, man. Wow. Oh, I love this. And they can go on water too? Oh my God. This is amazing. Look at this game, man. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited for this game, man. When is this shit coming out, though? I wish I... <gasps> they can fly! I knew they could fly. I mean, I, well, it was shown before, but... Oh my god, though. Flight? So, you know, transversing a massive world like this? Sure, it could get tedious, I suppose, but not when you have these fucking dolls. You can fly, you can surf. You can you can run really fast on the ground and then you can drive into a car. Like this is amazing. Transversing this planet shouldn't be a problem at all. And I'm sure there's ways to increase the speed as well too. You know, certain upgrades for the jet booster where you can just get from one side of the planet to the other without a fucking issue in the world, man. And you know, it's Wii U, so people are saying, oh, the graphics aren't gonna be as good. Something's telling me, man, these people need to put those concerns to rest because, you know, Nintendo, they look like they put all their effort into this game. They're not just going to, well, not Nintendo, but you know, they're not just going to sit back and let it just fall to the wayside due to the fact that it has very low in graphics. Like, it looks amazing. And we're seeing it through a YouTube video right now. Look at this, man. The thing I love is that Zettleblade Chronicles X seems to put emphasis on those things which make the world more engaging. Like, like making it massive for no fucking reason. <laughs> just making it huge. And that just adds to the immersion. Sure, that's my opinion, but so other people may share it. You can fly around the city too, yo. Bruh. Doll fuel, so you run out eventually. It's gotta be done though, because you know, you could just fly unlimited, that'd be a little BS. Man, this game looks incredible. This game looks incredible. Guys, I don't know about you, but like to be honest with you right now, as of this video, my hype meter is an 8 out of 10 for Xenoblade Chronicles X. A solid 8 out of 10. And the reason why this is amplified is because I did just play Final Fantasy XV, which has a lot of sim a lot of similar oh, has a lot of similar attributes to this game. In fact, this game looks a little bit better due to the fact that there's a lot more, you know, movement options, although Final Fantasy XV does have the car and whatnot, but you know, like the options with the dolls is just like a huge plus in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. What is yours? Leave it in the comments below. Are you as excited for this game as I am? I'm currently sitting at a solid 8 out of 10. But, like I said, that's me. What about you? Leave it in the comments and I'll talk to you in the next video. Hopefully you learned something new alongside with me. And if you didn't, what's been your opinion on this for a while now? Take care of yourselves and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.